All right, folks. It's going to be my first YouTube video as long as the quality is proper. So we'll see how she goes. First time actually getting to test my setup. Oh, yeah. So this is from a new rider's perspective. I uh, don't yet own a motorcycle. So I am here uh, just getting as much experience as I can until I get one. I'm going to go on as many demo rides as I can this summer. Hopefully I'll get a bike this summer, but if need be, uh, you know, we're just going to do as many demo rides as possible, get as much experience as I can. This isn't going to be a review or anything, just kind of a first impressions type thing. Probably just going to be a lot of me reacting to the bike. Oh yeah, that quick shifter is cool, man. Probably goes without saying, but this is my first bike with a quick shifter on it. First time riding a bike with a quick shifter on it, rather. So that's really cool to experience. It seems to work nicely. Yeah, it works nicely even though those low RPMs. Let me catch up a little bit here. One thing about being a new rider right there, man, when you're not used to it, easy to get left behind in a group like this. But man, this thing sounds nice. Even with the stock pipes. I'm the type of person who loves my cars to be loud. When I get a bike, I'll want my bike to be loud, but man, you really don't need much. Even with this stock pipe, this thing sounds good. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good. I like that. I mean, the quick shifter shifts better than I do. <laughs> oh yeah, even fourth gear, 3,000 RPM. That thing's got some kick. That's nice. Got some grunt for sure. This is a very comfortable bike, and I am about 6'2", 280. I believe my inseam is about 32 inches. So if you're a bigger dude like me, man, don't be afraid to uh, hop on a smaller bike or what seems like it might be a smaller bike. And don't think that just because someone, you know, your size is riding the bike and they don't like it, that that means that you're not gonna like it. You never know. We are all built differently. So even if you got similar dimensions and whatnot, you uh, might be surprised. Like I said, man, I'm new. Just got my endorsement last year, but I just haven't been able to afford a bike yet. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, so. I'm gonna at least get out here and ride as many bikes as I can this year, even if I don't end up being able to get a bike, but uh, really hoping to get one this year, man. Really hoping to get a bike this year. Very nice riding position, man. My leg, my, uh, it's kind of, I don't know if these would be considered mid controls or rear, but my legs, they, they feel kind of tucked up, but they're nice and comfortable. Definitely not tucked up too far like I'd imagine they would be on a sport bike. Hope this wind noise isn't kicking my mic's ass right now. I think I do have the noise reduction on and the gain is on negative 12 because it's right in front of my mouth. Put her down in first. Oh yeah, that front brake grabs nicely. Oh yeah, there's just no need for a clutch at all with that quick shifter, man. That is nice. That's so good. I like it a lot, my friend. I like it a lot. Yeah, this thing has plenty of power. I'm in dynamic mode. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna switch it. It soaks up the bumps nicely. Woo! Oh yeah, should get you going. Really curious to see if it picks up any exhaust noises. I can just hear it a little bit from in my helmet, and man, on the deceleration, especially this thing sounds nice. I like how this bike sounds stock. This guy up here is loving life. <laughs> He's vibing. We love to see that. There is something about blipping the throttle on a downshift, man, that the, uh, the quick shifter just doesn't, just doesn't do for you. But it still works wonderfully, as a, you know, one should probably expect from a BMW quick shifter. Woo -wee. Yeah, that baby got a good bit of power. She got a good little bit of power. We having fun on the F800. Yeah, man. This thing feels good over some bumps too. I mean, I haven't gone over any crazy bumps. It feels nice. Oh yeah. It's uh, feeling good on these poop ass Cleveland roads we're on here. Hit these real quick. Oh yeah, that's smooth. That's smooth. <laughs> oh yeah oh that's nice 
these are some beautiful bikes man absolutely beautiful bikes we are on here I'm actually very happy that uh, they have ride leaders and that they have a, a route for us here man because I do not know this area so I would have been struggling and it's just nice being in a group of other other motorcycles get a bigger group of motorcycles you're a lot less likely to get fucked over by some idiot in a in a car who's not paying attention because I mean you're gonna see a pack of motorcycles coming your way if not then you probably shouldn't have a license oh yeah that sounds good she's burbling the typical moto vlog where you know people are actually talking and whatnot this is this isn't something I actually honestly planned on doing at first but I don't mind talking to the folks I do uh I really love pure sound rides so once I get a bike especially and I got some pipes on it that'll be a lot of what I do but I figure it just makes more sense when I do something like this especially on a factory motorcycle to uh just let people know how I'm feeling about the bike so I will say uh I don't know a whole lot about these BMW motorcycles at all but uh it feels nice looks nice I have absolutely no complaints. Like I said, I'm 6'2", man, and it feels absolutely lovely for me. 6'2", 280 as well. I'm not like a skinny 6'2", by any means. Oh, we're moving. Okay. Hey, you're definitely going to be hearing some wind noise now if you weren't. <laughs> Ryan Leader is playing no games. She said we're going to go ahead and hit this straight away. Oh yeah, no doubt we're getting some good wind noise right now, so this would be a real good test, for sure. Feels good though, man. We're damn near at highway speeds, and I mean, getting smacked around by the wind a good, good bit, but it's, it's it's stable, man. Definitely, uh, this is a nice bike to ride. But we getting into getting into a little bit of twistiness here, okay? Okay, okay. I will say, uh, it definitely feels like, you know, maybe this is my inexperience, but it feels like it might take a little bit to get it leaned over, a little bit more pressure than one might like, but it's not bad. Like I said, that could just be my inexperience, so. I will say, uh, you know, it's definitely not like something that comes extremely natural, you know? Oh yeah, we're feeling that wind. Oh yeah. Not bad though, not bad at all. Nice little third gear pull right there. Get us caught up with the folks. Getting leaned over through here. Yeah, that feels nice. It's actually not bad at all. I mean, it's fairly flickable, don't get me wrong. A nice little route we got here. I like this. Okay, BMW. They said we're gonna give these folks a fun ride today. Nice little ride through Aurora, Ohio. This demo days is at the BMW slash Royal Enfield of Cleveland, which is in Aurora, Ohio. It's part of Cleveland. Yeah, this is nice, man. This is real nice. It's a great route they got us on. Let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, I uh, it's kind of funny. The only bike I've really ridden is uh, the Indian Scout. I rode that at the demo days last year, done at my local dealership. I'll be doing that again in about a week. So if you're interested in seeing what the new Scout is like, I will have some content on that. But yeah, so I don't really have anything similar to this to compare it to, but I will say, from what I remember, the Scout was a lot more flickable. And that could just be my memory lying to me, but I, I don't know, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's just me, man, but I thought the Scout was a lot more flickable. And I would think that for this being more, upright position that would give us oh yeah it's nice oh yeah we're getting leaned over a good bit here folks i'm gonna just shut up and ride for a minute let a brother focus God, that quick shifter is nice. Oh my goodness.
<laughs> that dude up there is having a blast, man. That is fucking hilarious. Woo! Hit the quick shifter down in the first. Didn't really mean to do that, but that's all right. Oh. Yeah, that's the that's the new rider right there. Let's see if we can get caught up here. Oh yeah, she's got no problem catching the pack. We are not supposed to pass folks on this ride. I gotta slow her down nicely. And once again, those brakes definitely do their job. Man, this, this bike is comfy, man. The suspension is nice and soft. I like that. It's so, like I said earlier, man, soaks up the bumps wonderfully. Didn't really look to see what kind of tires are on this thing, but I think this is more of a street bike. I don't think it's something that you would really want to purchase if you do a lot of off-roading. Probably, uh, probably more of a street bike than anything. Buddy behind me has just been riding close, man. Making me feel like I got to get closer to these folks up here, but I want to give everybody space and whatnot, you know? Damn, this ain't nice. I don't really have any comments about the seat. I mean, I'll probably have to sit on it a while longer, but it feels good, man. Like I said, this bike is comfy. And I'm, once again, 6'2", 280, so don't be afraid to just hop on a bike and try it out. Oh, this left turn might, this left turn might be tragic for me. I don't like this. Ow. <laughs> Forgot to put my foot on the clutch, or my, my hand on the clutch, I guess, rather. Oh, not bad, Bob, not bad, we good. Not bad on the left turn, Bobby. I will tell you, man, I would not have the confidence to come do this had I not taken my basic rider safety or basic rider skills class. I forget which one it is. I know it's BRS. I forget if it's safety or skills. I think it's the basic rider skills is what they call it here in Ohio. Oh. <laughs> Did something I didn't mean to do right there. <laughs> it looks like we're getting closer to the uh, to the dealership here. So our time with this bike is uh, coming to an end. Yeah, man. It's a nice bike. I like this F800 a lot. It's nice as a new rider who doesn't have a bike yet to get out and ride different bikes before you go and uh, really look for one to buy. Oh, yeah, that front brake bike's hard, man. I might even be a little little much for me personally that thing grabs right now so you you have no problem stopping on this bike he got his camera on too he probably moto vlogging might see his video <laughs> oh man that sounds good oh man this thing would sound phenomenal with uh probably even just a slip on to be honest That D-cell is just wonderful. I'm a big sound guy, man, so I appreciate that. Got, got some coppers right here. Some Bainbridge police. And here we are, back at, the, back at the dealership. That was a nice little ride, man. I like that. Nice little route they took us on right there. That was fun. I am probably going to have to stick around and see about riding maybe another bike or two. That was a great time. All right, folks. Do a little look at the bike we just rode, since I didn't really do that before. Oh yeah, that wind feels good. Gets hot in there, man. That's a good looking little bike, man. I like that. Well, thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later, man. Give me a little like and subscribe if you like the content. There will be more coming. I'll try to ride as uh, as many bikes as I can this summer. So catch y'all later, man.